Just to get so much joy. <laughs> Beautiful day here in southeastern Idaho. The uh, much needed storm rolled in last night and it has dropped some serious rain, but we are experiencing one of the driest summers I can remember. So it's good, we needed some of this. Today we are getting ready to embark on our next adventure. And that entails me doing some truck maintenance, food shopping, some cooking, some packing, some spending some time with my family before I'm off and gone again. First things first, I'm going to drop my truck off to get the wheels uh, and tires rotated and aligned, and then a trip to the uh, oil shop to get some fresh oil in this bad boy. Well, hello guys. Welcome to my little office room and gear room. It is August 22nd, and unfortunately I'm not in my tree stand today because I came back yesterday and decided I need to charge batteries on the cameras, and I wanted to shoot my bow. Last night I went to my parents and I shot my new RX-1, and at 30 yards, I was significantly shooting about four inches low, which I just don't understand. Like, I personally had some struggles and some string issues with this RX-1. So, I'm going to take my Pro Defiant to the Easton Archery Range. I'm going to shoot both bows. Honestly, whatever one I shoot the best is the one I'm going to hunt with for this hunt until I can get some time to put a new string on my red work. So, that's what's up for now. going to head down to Easton Archery Center with um, Bridget. We're gonna shoot and dial it in and then I'll be heading on the mountain with Jordan Harbertson and I think we're most likely gonna take the Rambo bikes up, up there. So super excited for that, but always in a hurry trying to get up to deer camp, grabbing the bows and heading out. Guys, what is up? Welcome back to the video. So today is the 22nd of August. Casey and I just came off the mountain from our deer hunt. Eric's gonna stay there, but we're heading out to Oregon soon. Had to stop by the old office today though. Here are a couple new products that we're excited to show you guys. The blaze orange hats are now back. And we got these ones customized. So they're a little different than last year's variety. Kind of see though, they've got the hush labeling, little tag on the back, and then the traditional fireball antler. Kind of a forest green color. So both the bent brim variety and then also we have the flat brim variety. A couple other cool items that we're excited about that we just partnered up with uh, Hoofit Socks. So we've got three different options. This one we're calling Stripes. And we have the Layers, which is kind of a cool look. The antler on one side and then on the back it's got the hush coming down it. These socks are gonna be a lot like the Stance socks you may have seen. That one's also got the hush in the back. And then this one we're calling the Deadhead. So far, this guy's proven to be the most popular. But it's got the fireball skull on there. Kind of a cool camo pattern. Anyways, these are a one size fits most. And something new that we just added to the website this past week. So check them out. Let us know what you think of them. A couple other items to show you guys. The first light hats have been selling really, really fast. So inventory is getting a little bit low, but I think we have some more coming relatively soon. So again, as a reminder, $5 from every hat from first light goes back to conservation. These are the uh, flat brim variety of the ciphers. I'll show you what that looks like. This one's our most popular so far. This is the fusion in a bent brim. Again, it's got custom kind of taping. See if I can get the color right. The lighting's not great in the warehouse. And then full line of stuff that we kind of always keep on hand, all the shirts, all the goodies. But yeah, here's where we're kind of keeping the socks. You can tell the old deadhead is running a little low. And we've got a few joggers left over. These things are really, really, really comfortable. Nice to lay around in. Nice to use under the waders if you're fishing. That's kind of what we're up to right now. Just trying to get a few things updated on our website before, again, we head back up into the mountains and uh, go try to fill some tags. Casey's up first with regards to the elk hunting. He will be holding the tag with the guys that are born and raised. Uh, and then CEO, co-CEO of First Light, Kenton Carruth. So we're really excited to go out and hunt with those guys in Oregon. Gonna be hard to top last year's hunts, but I know we're gonna have a ton of fun. Chasing the Roosevelt elk 
in the coastal mountain range. So stick with us. Again, we're posting videos every single day from August 17th all the way through November 30th. Kind of just documenting every single day of this, this season coming up. I made it to Easton. Here's my situation. I got a group of yellow and then a mixed group. So I'm gonna shoot the group of yellow with my red works, this mixed bag with my Pro Defiant. Just shooting 30 yards down there. I'll just aim for the yellow, the center of the dot. I'm gonna see which one's more consistent and which one's on. And then uh, I'll just kind of go from there. We'll start there. Here's my first shot group with my red works, still shooting low like last night. So my next three, I'm gonna shoot with my Pro Defiant and uh, see if that thing is, is on still or not, but definitely need to make some changes here. All right guys, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I was shooting my old bow. Got back to the wall, it kind of jumped forward and made me slap the trigger. And like I said, super embarrassing, haven't done that for years. I have no clue where another one of my arrows are, but look at this three shot group with my last year's bow. I had to shoot a pink one because I've flung one of the yellow ones. Might be somewhere down there, I'll go look. But uh, that's pretty freaking good. I'm gonna shoot it again and, and see how it does. But as of right now, I'm liking this group. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually feeling a lot more confident with my Pro Defiant. Haven't shot it all year. Out of the box, 30 yards. Two three shot groups in the bullseye or in the first yellow ring. So, um, I mean, right now, I'm, I'm most likely gonna shoot this. I'm gonna take it back to 40 and see how it shoots, but I'm pretty stoked on that. Check them out. There's my first shot group at 40. Feeling uh, pretty good about that. I got the one a little high, but the two in the bullseye. So I think I'll push it back to 50, check my bottom pin, which is my slider, and we'll, uh, we'll see how that's going. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is embarrassing, like I said, but we found my arrow. It's up there. The only time I can say I've honestly done that, I was pretty young shooting my bow at uh, General Army Navy where I used to work. Might not be any good. Uh-oh, blew up? Yeah. Ah, I'm down an arrow again, dang it. <laughs> well, thanks for getting it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sucks. Tires, wheels rotated, aligned, balanced, oil changed, transmission flushed. Check out what I've been doing while I've been waiting for that trip to get done. There's sawdust involved. I used some saws. Some wood, some screws. Check it out guys. Before we had to alternate the bike, so one would be in the front and then this one had to be in the back. If you guys uh, take some peeks over here, now don't judge me by my craftsmanship, but it's gonna work. Uh, that one wouldn't go in all the way. So we got wheel holders, because on the way home from Salt Lake, these wheels were turning. So I got this backed up. I put those little clamps, screwed those down to the boards. Wheel holders up front for that bike. Wheel holder here with some clamp, whatever. Anyway, all the bikes fit towards the front. So the plan was to be able to push all the bikes forward so I could put this giant Yeti on the back. This is the Yeti 210. We will take this Yeti 210 and stock with ice, but this cooler will probably only be used when uh, we, we shoot elk. And then a whole elk will fit inside of this. We did it last year. So I'm gonna strap this down and we'll be ready to roll. Still gotta go make a bunch of food. I like to pre-make food when we're going on a trip because then when you get back to camp, you don't have to cook something, you just have to warm something up. Uh, I'll show you that a little bit later, but I'm gonna wrap this project up and get on to the next one. All right guys, got a text message from a buddy of ours saying, hey, can you help me out? I'm in town and uh, would be grateful if you'd come and pick me up. He's in here uh, hunting, chasing deer and elk with his bow. I don't know if you guys have ever uh, met him on our channel before, but we met him up in Big Sky, Montana. He's very well known in the extreme sports community. Matter of fact, he has actually won two Olympic gold medals. He's an avid bow hunter, outdoorsman, all around really good dude. So we're gonna go grab him and his buddy, loop him around to their truck, talk a little hunting, 
see if he has had any luck so far on this hunt. Hopefully later on in the fall, maybe try to connect with him again. He's a super good guy, like we said, uh, lives in Nevada and travels around skiing for uh, for a living. We finally found our hitchhiker. What's up, buddy? Here I is. Uh, you know, I just figured I'd go for a stroll out there in the old <laughs> woods. It looks like uh, we're gonna miss the storm just in time. You got here just in time. I, I know, appreciate right? that. Yeah, no worries. Guys, I talked to you a little bit about it before, but this is David. He's out bow hunting. Are you with a buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Me and Ben. His buddy Ben and him are out traipsing around the woods of Utah uh, looking for deer and elk. And so, gonna do a little shuttle service back to his pickup truck. Save him some Much time. Appreciate it. Some elevation. <laughs> Save some, some climbing and yeah, some right? descending and some walking all around. Anyways, guys, if you don't follow David right now, go check him out on Instagram. Where can they find you? Mr. David Wise or Wise OTG, Wise Off the Grid. And are you filming this one? Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Where's it going to live? going to cut it up. It's gonna. Uh, I'm going to have a new YouTube channel here starting pretty soon. Fantastic. Wise Off the Grid as well. Wise Off the Grid. Go follow him. It's cool to see you guys outside of like the specific hunting industry getting out and shooting bows and bringing new people into what we love so much. Kind of showing them a different perspective. And I know David's mission is all about wild food you know obviously organically grown vegetables out of the garden eat. right yeah and i think that's a huge uh win for all of us that love to hunt and fish is introducing a different audience uh predominantly you know his extreme sports kind of skiing background has a much different demographic than maybe what our audience has but uh, that's a good thing for everybody and getting more folks enjoying it and understanding yeah. why we do what we do so go follow david Thanks. Check out his YouTube channel. Get it. Hit that subscribe button for him. He's just getting it up and running. And like I said earlier, we're hoping we can do a little bit more with him in the future. You say that the timing of our Uber hunting mobile was pretty clutch for David and Ben because this is a nasty thunderstorm. Probably the worst one we've had in the last several days. It's been real stormy, but this one is hitting hard, and uh, they would have been drenched. Check out the water. All right, guys, showing you what uh, my beautiful bride has done for me and the born and raised crew. Like I was saying, I like to make some pre-made meals. When you come home back from the hunt and get back to camp, been out hiking all day and you need something warm, you need some uh, nutrients, some calories, some protein. It's better if you have some pre-made meals that you can just warm up and take half the time or probably a quarter of the time. My wife's world famous uh, snapware, no. She has no association with snapware. She uh, made her world famous elk taco soup. And then we have pickled eggs. How many of you guys eat pickled eggs? I absolutely love these things. Some people love them, some people think they're weird. They're amazing. I'm doing Korean barbecue style mountain lion that are gonna go on tacos later this week. And I'm actually gonna use a uh, Instapot, my wife just informed me about. She said I can cook this mountain line in like 15 minutes. Sick. And then we're gonna do, I'm gonna make up some spaghetti sauce with some deer and elk. We should be good to go. It's like three or four meals ready to ride. Oh, then I'm gonna do taco, see, taco meat. I talked to Trent from Born and Raised last night and I said, hey man, I'll take care of all the dinners if you take care of all the uh, lunches. And so he has to make 126 sandwiches tonight. <laughs> Hope you're in the kitchen making sandwiches, Trent. That's what we're doing last night here with my family, which is sad. There's just so much going on right now. We have football and cheerleading just started up. My daughter and Gage, my son. And then they start school Tuesday, but I will be home shortly after that. It's a tough, tough time of year. Uh, my wife, amazing, babe. Thanks. You are awesome. You are awesome. Layla, not so much awesome. Clean, clean. I just put the kids Oh, you're gonna clean? You clean. Clean. Clean this. It's fun, it's a game. <laughs> Check it out. Look who's here. Saw, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Met up with Jordan at the Easton Archery Center right after I finished up. Um, we just went to BMAC's house to grab another Rambo bike. So this is gonna be our first trip. I took a Rambo bike out once last year and I, I wrecked the whole thing. The derailleur got caught up in a stick. Kind of had to push it out of there quite a ways. So Jordan and I both are going up, I would say like a canyon trail for the first time. This is my first e-bike. This is my first e-bike as no well. No way, so. cool. So we have two Rambo bikes in the back. On. We've got both our bows. Jordan has an elk tag. I've got the elk tag. Eric's got the mule deer tag. And um, Eric is going to forego the stand 
for some spot and stock with me for our uh, our slumber party. Yeah, quick overnight <laughs> trip, guys. Our, our overnight trip. Gonna have at least a ton of fun just hanging out, glassing, and enjoying some dinners at camp. So we have a surprise for you to show you when we're at camp tonight for dinner. So stay tuned. Um, I'll see you guys up on the mountain. So far, so good on the Rambo bikes. These things are legit. They're fun, huh? These are fun. We have an uh, issue though. Kind of a roadblock, not a rock, not a tree. Just a big old mama moose. Look at this thing. Look there. Mom look moose and baby. baby behind her. Literally right next to the trail. She doesn't look like she wants to move either. Uh-uh. And I'm not willing to take a bet if she will or not. You know, a lot of people that I talk to that are not around moose a lot, they're so afraid of them. I usually tell them, usually they're not afraid of you, but what I would be afraid of is that situation that, right there. Mom fun. and cow, especially if you split the two, she would stomp us Never out. Never split the difference. Let's see how fast that Rambo bike is. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Set, Set it! Okay, they're standing their ground pretty well. They don't want to move. Like they're really, that is a legit roadblock right there. I mean, they're covering. She couldn't be any more center of center. No kidding. And she's got a firm stance and she doesn't give a dang. She's so tall. Moose have the longest legs. They can winter in some high elevation because of that too. You get your selfie with it? Yeah, I got my selfie ready. <laughs> Wait, this is video. Oh, we're filming. Guys, these animals are so cool. Check this out. Moose are so big. They're like There's the size there. of a horse. Definitely just going to take our time. We're in no rush. You don't want to spook them. And I don't want to get trampled either. She's moved off the trail. We're just coming at her real slow. Calf moose is up in the trees. There she goes. Well, we ditched the bikes back there. And we've kind of been hustling because we're about to get pounded with rain and probably hail. So, it's coming quick and we still have about a 20 minute push to camp. We're gonna get wet. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> like we literally have to run up the worst part just to try to get to camp and not get drenched. Check out that storm, dude. Here it comes. That's coming right for us, baby. <laughs> this is what fun is. <laughs> my friend it is coming down I'm kind of scared of lightning up here I'm not gonna lie this lens is gonna get wrecked but this is worth seeing it's coming oh boy here it comes oh -hoo -hoo! <laughs> yeah taking me too long <laughs> to get these epic caps oh. on that was right there Oh! Whoa! <laughs> this is gnarly. Okay, I gotta turn the camera off before I ruin it. Oh shoot! It is so close. Oh my gosh. Is it safer in the tree? Oh my gosh, we need to get to camp now. Dude, that had to be no more than like <laughs> 10 yards that way. You saw that flash and you felt heard it. You felt it. And you heard it. That is, oh, I love this place. This is awesome. Guys, this is what getting outside is all about. You just never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates. I'm loving it. We made it to the tent, but this is just the gear tent and it's not very waterproof. So uh, we got one heck of a storm to hold out tonight and I'm sure my hammock is drenched. Hopefully it'll pass by. And we can at least get a good morning hunt because you know what I thought? We should go steel hunting through the pines. The deer would never know. Dude, that's the best attack is a sneak attack. So just, They're all hunkered just up. Just go hunt the pines. Just go hunt the pines, drop fun. in there and get them right in their beds. Is my stuff soaked? <laughs> it looks pretty bad. Uh -oh. Even though you got that tarp over top. I'm gonna check the damage. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, it's a little wet there. Ooh, boy. Yeah, that's really wet. Hopefully the pillow's in good shape under there. It's not getting any better, though. We are going to try to cook some food real quick. 
coming out here to get the uh, old camp chef, which is hiding under here. Yep, there it is. Got a little wet. I told you guys we had a surprise for dinner. Jordan brought a little something something. Man, I hope this tent is dry because we might both have to sleep in there together tonight. <laughs> Jordan, show us what you got. I'm gonna sit down and cook us a dinner before it's dark. If we're lucky, this storm will blow out in the next hour or so. It is kind of clear skies, but it's still raining. You so, what's, see what's for dinner? Right there. Cheesy dude. meat lasagna, mountain ops. What is this? Freeze dried? That right there is two years in the making. We've been building out, we've got four meals and one breakfast. Nice. So this is our final, we wanted to launch this year, but we wanted to do some more testing. So Eric and I are gonna take this cheesy meat lasagna, we'll cook it up, it. and see what he thinks. This poor camp chef, I have beat the crap out of this poor thing. <laughs> well, first off, I've melted it just by getting the pat, uh, pan too close to the heat source, <laughs> making the flame roll over. And the striker, let's see if it does any good when it's wet like this. There we go. Boom! Camp chefs are durable. All right, that little, uh, the big old camp chef bowl thing. So glad we turned this on. It's hot. <laughs> it's getting hot in this Dude, tent hot and in it here. feels great. Well, we're just gonna it is freaking more. cold right now. The storm has passed, but Eric Whoops. was looking on the <laughs> weather report. So we should have the weather down for a couple hours, and then it'll be back on supposed throughout to the night. After that, yeah. Okay, this thing's got a little lock, but I've kind of bent those out of shape. I think too. And there it goes. You should really take better care of your gear, Eric. Well, you're right. I'm not going <laughs> to say anything. <laughs> you're right. This is the deer camp on it. These strikers are awesome. All right, we're at a boil, and honestly, it is warm inside here, so we got some ventilation. I'm going to try this. So we've got our mill. Just going to tear this guy off. If I can get a good Bad tire. packaging, dude. It's a sample pack. <laughs> Oh, horrible. Look at this. I am so poverty when it comes to this. We got two corners though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. We got plenty of boiling water for sure. Whoa. Sorry guys. Steamed up the camera. Let me fix that. All right guys. So there it is, huh? Let's get a whiff. It smells like cheesy lasagna. <laughs> We're just going to pour it in like this. Look at that. Do you think that's enough? We need to stir it up real good. Now what I've noticed with these, not Mountain Ops brand obviously, but with other ones, you gotta make sure you get all the way to the bottom and get water all the way down there else you're left with some dry powder. Or crunchy like noodles or whatever. Yeah, it won't cook all the way through. You gotta stir it really well. This one is actually one of my favorite from the four entrees that we've built. There's this guy. He asked me what, what to bring, and I said lasagna. I said your options were or cheesy or lasagna, uh, pineapple chicken, and rice. I'm down with that. Uh, chicken alfredo. Which we got. Or like a beef stroganoff. That's, you can't go wrong. You guys chose probably the top. We went and did some research, some pretty hefty, hefty research to find out what are the top four favorite Can I trust labors. that zipper? Dude, zip that up, baby. I want to shake it to make sure we get all the, all the bottom. <laughs> Look at this guy. He takes, a lot of people just drop the water in, zip it back oh, up, man. and then let it do its thing. You, this is an art how for Eric. Mountain Ops Mills. Add water, let it sit. Yeah, no, this no is how you're, this is the, the right way to up. do it. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> this is good. This is not. <laughs> this is, a, we got a leak. <laughs> we had a leak, guys. Oh, Guys, it rained so hard. Look at this goodness. Mm. <laughs> Making sure the noodles are soft. I think it's done. But I'll tell you what, guys. 
This thing smells like a piece of pizza. <laughs> I'm excited to try it. I got myself my fancy bowl, which is the bottom of a water bottle. <laughs> Here it Should comes. Load me up, dude. Yes. Ooh. Oh yeah. It does. I it mean, smells good, it huh? It smells just like a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> See all the colors? I've always said more color, more flavor. Yep. This has actually got a lot of flavor. Mm. Dude, <laughs> I'm not lying. That's good. If I had a piece of garlic bread, you served that on a plate, sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on it, I'd think this is a pretty good restaurant. It's that, like we brought Olive awesome. Garden right with us to the mountain, huh? Mm-hmm. That has been the, the other guys have been complaining about their meals every night. It is not anything like this. When you have normal meals like that are currently in market, the thing I always hear is people feel or say, I feel really I feel full and I feel heavy. Or I feel kind of like with all the carbs and some of the calories they're like, oh man, I just feel like I could take a nap. These meals <laughs> as Eric's experience. You're gonna it's a light meal. You feel good, you feel nourished, as well as you feel like you're ready to go. All right, the storm blew out. I think we're gonna go hit the glassing point for the last 20, 30 minutes. Yep, got a little bit of light. Take the vortex up there. We're gonna pack our bows just in case. And I found Casey's, well, I should say Jordan found Casey's <laughs> uh, glasses. In a tree. In a tree right by his tent. So apparently he forgot these. I know he's gonna miss them sadly, but uh, we'll take good care of them. And I think they look pretty dang good on me. Yeah, dude, you look like a real <laughs> kind of, what's that? Larry the Enticer. Larry the Enticer? You see the send it guy? <laughs> He's just going to send it. All right, well, let's go. Okay. Send it, right? We're going to send it. We're just going to go send it. We'll right go now. glass. I think the deer might be moving this last little bit of light. All right, guys. Oh, this light's probably not going to be very easy to see me. But uh, we just got done kind of doing some upgrades at camp it is midnight we're still awake we're just having a blast doing some landscaping i had to move the gear tent and i added the tarp this is the tarp that logan was using for his little shack no that's hard to see but we got a cobblestone patio for my new tent location i got a pad sleeping bag the sleeping bag that i use was in the hammock and i think it's pretty much dry by now hasn't been raining for quite a while so Jordan and I are just getting ready for bed we had another mountain ops meal uh, that one was chicken alfredo pretty good but so far my favorite is the cheesy meat lasagna I'm more of a hearty meat type of guy not so much on the creamy pasta side of things but this is gonna be Jordan's setup the same tent that Casey used yeah, this it, is going to be nice and cozy in here. He set you up, huh? I got pad. Yeah, B-Mac left some stuff too for him. I got the pillows. I'm set, man. I'm going to be sleeping like a king. Deer camp is pretty sweet, huh? I like this place. We got to get Jordan, to talk Jordan into getting a deer tag for up here next year so we can all hunt this together because, I don't know, for, to me it's like one of my favorite places in the world. So anyways, that's a night. We had a heck of a time in that rainstorm. We survived. We survived. And barely. now... We're headed to bed. Peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you guys are following along on these daily videos. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you guys want to get notifications when we upload. And then, of course, follow us on all the platforms. Instagram, Facebook, all the social medias, all right? Adios from High Country Deer Camp. We'll see you guys in the morning.